So what was the thinking there? Was it strategic? Did you know at that point, um, as you say, partly because you wanted to uh, have a reconnection potentially with your father, okay, this path is the best path. And then it's two, two sections to the question. In hindsight, does that feel like that was the thing that allowed you to be so successful? Uh, so that's a very perceptive question as well. So, uh, cause I've reflected on it, uh, a lot. Uh, I went to the Tory, I went to work for the Tory party by accident to a certain extent. I had actually weirdly, I'm sorry to the image I must be projecting, but I'd weirdly worked for them in my gap year before going to university. Uh, but somebody said, you know, they were looking, it's this thing called the conservative research department, which was they did all the political research for government ministers. So civil servants are allowed to, you know, obviously do all the work on your policy. But if you wanted to attack the the opposition, uh, you had to use people in your in the political party. And uh, somebody said, I was all set to go to law school. And somebody said, actually, there's a job going at Conservative Central Office, as it was called then. And I thought, yeah, I'll go for it. It'd be a bit like doing a kind of, M Phil for two years, you know, in politics, It'd be fun. Uh, so I really enjoyed it, and uh, I don't know whether it's the same now, but I can't, you know. It was like, uh, you know, to me, politicians were rock and roll stars. You know, I loved, still do love politics. So, at the age of twenty-one, when you're writing speeches for Ken Clark, you know, it's pretty intoxicating. It's very, very exciting. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. And then I made a terrible mistake, which is uh, interesting for your headhunting approach. I decided, and you're quite right, as a strategy, that I would go back to my original plan to become a barrister. Obviously, I enjoyed public speaking and all of that. Uh, and so I, having been in the absolute center of things, as a 21 year old and loving every minute, I went back to college, two years studying, another year of training as an apprentice, a pupil. So three years of my life, while all my mates were still enjoying themselves in politics and the Tories had unexpectedly won the election. And uh, I was utterly, utterly miserable. And I think it affected my ability to be successful as a barrister because I was constantly looking over my shoulder at politics. Uh, and I had gone to be a barrister as a strategy. I'd gone to be a barrister because uh, I ultimately wanted to be an MP. 